Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast, I'm YouTube Famous Now, available in 2021, the album, Dad AF. <laughs> Rock on, gold dust, woman. How are you guys doing today? Oh my God. There is so much drama to talk about. We're gonna talk about Shane Dawson drama today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about Jeffree Star drama. We're gonna talk a little bit about Jaclyn Hill drama. There is so much drama to talk about. But before I do, I wanna say a very special thank you to adamandeve.com for sponsoring yet another video over on my channel. Listen, I love, love, love working with adamandeve.com, okay? And they have been so kind to me. They, they love when you guys use my code, which means I love when you guys use my code. And so many of you reach out to me and you're like, hey, I wanna let you know that you know my husband and I, or my partner and I, we sat down and we went through uh, their website, we picked some things out and we used your code and it was a really fun process for us to do it together. And one of my favorite things is like when like personal friends of mine come to me and they're like, hey, I don't want you to know like necessarily what we ordered but we used your code and I think that's so cool and tonight um, my husband and I we went out to dinner uh, with some girlfriends of his and they were talking about like two of them were talking about how um, their boyfriends like and then they sat down and they used my code and I was like that's all I need to know that's all I need to know but hey listen okay um, adamandeve.com is over there as a great resource you know to spice up the romance in your relationship and I think most of us you know could use a little spicing up I talk about the 12 points of intimacy of which physical intimacy is only one of those but I think that you know listen if, if you are in a relationship and you're like we have the best possible physical relationship in the entire world, then God bless you, okay? But you know, I think a lot of us could use a little bit of like some excitement, some some spice to the to the bedroom, so to speak. So go over to adamandeve.com and use my code, code Peter. With my code, you get 50% off your first item plus free shipping and handling um, in the United States and Canada. Some exclusions apply. Um, the other thing is it is 90 day hassle-free return policy. So if you get something in the mail and you're like, yeah, this isn't really what I thought it would be. You can return it and exchange it for something else. You can return it. You can just say, I don't want it anymore. Whatever. No questions asked. Okay. And they also have a 24 hour customer service where if you get it and you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm sure they can explain that to you. So, and also, and this is one of the things I absolutely love about working with them. Um, I love companies that have a mission and 20% 20%, you guys, of their proceeds go to the fight and prevention of HIV and AIDS around the world, which is absolutely amazing. And if you've been watching my videos on a regular basis, you know that I've been talking a lot about the HBO uh, Max TV show that just came out called It's a Sin, which is bringing a lot of attention to the uh, HIV and AIDS crisis in the 80s. And it is bringing attention again to the HIV and AIDS crisis around the world. So um, I think it's so fantastic that Adam and Eve um, does that. So if you order something from Adam and Eve, 20% of what you order is going to the prevention and fight of HIV and around, uh, AIDS around the world, which is so cool. It's so fantastic that they do that, you know? So anyway, um, please use my code. Like I said, code Peter. And if you do, let me know. You don't have to tell me what you order, but just let me know and say, hey, I just wanted you to know I used your code. Thank you so much. And um, yeah. And like I said, I will never know what you ordered or anything like that if you use my code. So just go use it and use it a plenty. So anyway, thank you, adamandeve.com. I love you guys so much. All right, let's get into the drama today. Well, 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 before I get into the main, oh, my camera, or my, my phone is dying. I've got 10%, so I've got to get right into the drama rather quickly because uh, I have some things that I have to read over here. So we'll talk about, mm, I don't know, the drama, drama at the beginning. The drama, drama, mama, drama at the beginning. Uh, as long as my phone lasts, I'll be reporting on the drama. Look, I did my hair tonight. I don't know much about clothes, but my hair looks fierce. Okay, um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was I received this comment on my video that I did the other day and it was called Addressing the Comments. And it was this video where I went through and I just read like this Twitter thread where I had said, what do you guys want me to talk about today? And there were a lot of funny things over there, but somebody asked me my opinions about working and collabing um, with YouTubers. And uh, my past relationship with Shane Dawson came up and I had some very pointed things to say about that over there. And I referenced uh, me finding out 
about uh, the voice note messages, uh, voice memo notes that he left for Charles Gross, where he was talking horrifically about Trisha Paytas and I behind his our backs, right? And in the video, I had said, okay, that, um, you know, like at the time that I met Shane Dawson, because he had left those voice messages, those voice notes for Shane Dawson, and then I met him like two or three years later, okay? So it wasn't like he met me and then he said those things about me. He said those things about me and then, and they were, they were not nice, okay? Like, um, they just, it, it, there were a lot of things in there that I think that like other people wouldn't understand the reference to, but they were just like, I mean, he was like, you know, like, it, it, there was a lot of name calling. He called me names. Um, there was cattiness towards Trisha Paytas and making fun of her and making fun of her voice and making fun of my voice. It just, it was not nice. Okay. And so then to sit down with me later and meet with me face to face, like he has no issues with me whatsoever. And like, he just thinks I'm the greatest thing in the entire world. I don't play those games. Okay. And I don't know if this is his manipulation of other YouTubers that have always wanted to meet him. And I used to sit in a chair and I used to say, oh, if I ever met Shane Dawson, I'd faint a million faints. And this is why I don't want to meet a lot of these people anymore because I don't want the veil of YouTube to be like pulled away from me. I just want to look at them and think what I think of them as YouTubers, right? But I do think it's his way of manipulating. I think that he talks about everybody behind the scenes, but to their face, he's completely something different, which to me, I don't know what you call that in any other state or around the world, but in Indiana, we call that fake, okay? He's a fake to me. And so what I had said in my video was, if I met him at that time and I had known like five minutes before about those voice notes, which I didn't, okay, that I would have looked at him and said, hey, this is all fine and great, but why did you say these things about me? I, that's how I, that's how I live my life. I, you know, that's just how I live my life. Okay. So anyway, I got this comment on that video and this person said, now it makes sense why you're always talking so bad about Shane. He hurt your feelings and you can't let it go and move on. Now the bias and the hate all make sense. First of all, I don't hate Shane Dawson. I never have hated Shane Dawson. But what's interesting about that comment, okay, is that I have gotten a similar comment like that on videos that I have done about Shane Dawson, I've gotten similar comments, many comments like that about Shane Dawson in the last year, okay? Way back when he did the series about Jeffree Star, then it was that there were a, there was a whole other bag of reasons why um, I was bitter and biased and all that other kind of stuff, right? There is a reason why I'm bringing this up. So the fact that this person says, now I understand why you hate Shane Dawson and you have a bias towards him. I've been making videos criticizing Shane Dawson for not being a great person for over six months now. I literally just found out about the voicemail notes a month ago. So or six weeks ago. So could you explain to me uh, your theory now? <laughs> I'm waiting for what the previous five months was about. So <laughs> what would that have been about, you know? I think that there's this idea that um, if we don't like somebody that you are a stan or a super fan of, then that means that we have a bias towards that person or that we hate that person. No, the reality is that many of the stans and the fans of the people that drama channels talk about um, are so overly obsessed with these people, of which I witnessed on Jeffree Star's video today, um, that they literally cannot see the truth when the reality is maybe the person that you are a stan or a fan of just really isn't a great person. Maybe they just really aren't a great person. Maybe it's not that I have that much bias whatsoever. Maybe it's from the outside looking in. I have realized that Shane Dawson just isn't a good person. And quite frankly, much of the world has realized that too. I'm not the only one. So, you know, it doesn't mean that when somebody uh, is critical of somebody or somebody is a truth teller on somebody that they have hatred in their hearts or that they are biased towards somebody. I don't have any hatred in my heart towards anybody, right? Um, I'm not going to say I haven't had resentments or held grudges in the past because I have. Um, I try not to live my life like that today, right? But the reason why I'm bringing it up is it minimizes what I have to say to cut me down and just say, well, you have bias and you hate this person because of these voicemail notes. And no, I have been critical of Shane Dawson and this is evidenced as fact on my channel for quite some time, including when he was doing the series with Jeffree Star, okay? And I had no clue of the voicemail notes whatsoever. So new theory, please. All right, that was the first thing I wanted to say. I, I think this, like Shane Dawson is so interesting to me on this level. And I said in my video the other day, that, you know, I really just like to see the motives behind why these people act the way they are, you know? Um, like, for all these people 
that are continuing to come out and defend Shane Dawson and defend Shane Dawson and defend Shane Dawson out of whatever reasoning they think that he has, you know? Like, uh, there's clips of Shane Dawson that have gone around where he's like, yeah, like, I, he did it in some interview where he said, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna, uh, respond to any kind of bullying. This is not bullying. This is critiques from your fans. This is fans of yours who have said, I no longer can follow you anymore. I, I don't understand why you're not coming out and talking about this. This is literally Shane Dawson hiding from the hiding, like running for the hills and hiding from taking any accountability for his actions whatsoever, okay? Um, you know, it, I, I think that people are so in love with this mysticism that somebody has presented to them that they can't really see the truth. And I have to tell you, it was very obvious to me on this video that Jeffree Star put out today. Oh, by the way, this is Saturday night and I'm pre-filming this video for Sunday. So anyway, Jeffree Star did this video today and the video is called Saying Goodbye or something like that. Um, I love when people come to me and they're like, and my video is literally called like, you know, Jaclyn Hill's new lipsticks and Jeffree Star's new video. And I talk about Jaclyn Hill's new lipsticks and Jeffree Star's new video. And they'll be like, this is a clickbait title because I didn't talk about it till 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. But Jeffree Star literally says saying goodbye, which all these YouTubers do. It's like one of the oldest tricks in the entire world. And it's like real, like saddest face he could possibly pull in the thumbnail ever. And then he calls it uh, saying goodbye. And it's like, everybody goes running over there. And if you don't believe me, you can go read the comment thread where everybody of which there's like hardly any, like very, there's very few negative comments unless you go to the, the, the newest ones that are up there that they haven't caught to take down yet. He and Jacqueline Hill are both deleting their comments highly on their videos. Um, I have gotten so many messages from people that have said that they've commented on the videos and the video is gone or the comment is gone like that. Um, but what's interesting to me is, you know, that he does this video where it's called Saying Goodbye. So I went in and I watched this video. That's what it's called, isn't it? Saying Goodbye, Jeffree Star, something like that. And everybody's like, oh, please don't tell me that Jeffree Star is saying goodbye to the internet. How, how can he possibly say goodbye to you, YouTube? Oh, here it is. Saying goodbye. And he's... <laughs> um, because if he says goodbye to doing YouTube videos, he won't be able to sell his uh, makeup anymore. So he has to continue to do YouTube videos. And Jeffree Star knows that. You know, maybe in a year or two, his makeup would still be selling, but in five years, his makeup would be irrelevant, okay? Unless he had such incredible marketing and advertising that he was putting ads on major television, movies, Netflix, everywhere else, and YouTube. <laughs> but he's already paying to have his videos pushed on YouTube. That's why they're, they're seen as advertisements. So anyway, he does this video, and he said, you know, I always have to be honest with my audience. I always have to be transparent. And I was like, oh, Lord. Here we go. He's going to dance around some issues, you know? And uh, the biggest, and he said, you know, 2021 has been really crazy and it's been drama filled and all this kind of stuff. The biggest issue that Jeffree Star has gotten into in 2021 is the fact that he allegedly fired his make or his hair person, Hair by Jay, okay? Because Hair by Jay made threatening, what I heard as threatening statements to Trisha Paytas, called her horrific names, okay? Jeffree Star even came out himself and said that he couldn't believe that he talked to him that way, okay? Then Jeffree Star came out in a statement and he said, um, good morning to everybody except for the guy that used to do my hair, and then said that he holds everybody accountable. Do you remember all that, okay? But then two weeks later, Hair by Jay is posting pictures of him doing uh, Jeffree's hair. Well, now I understand why, okay? Because Maddie, who was Jeffree Star's assistant, she left working for Jeffree a while ago. Now, I didn't talk a lot about this on this channel because um, it was just, it, it, it kind of happened in a day or two and there was other stuff going on. But a lot of people were sending me the information and a lot of drama channels did, okay? And this is how they found out that Maddie stopped working for Jeffree Star. It wasn't because Jeffree Star came out in a video and said, I want to say thank you to Maddie. And, you know, because now he's getting congratulated on coming out and saying, thank you. You are such a wonderful part of my life. I will always love you. And you should go, you know, wh whoever gets you next is going to be so lucky. And people are comparing him to Miranda Priestly. <laughs> oh, my Lord. From the Devil Wears Prada, as if. And, um,. All this kind of stuff, right? Well, I'm sorry to tell you guys that are clueless and don't watch drama channels, but if you did, what you would know is uh, Maddie left working for Jeffree Star like six weeks ago, and the way that uh, drama channels found out about it was because she unfollowed him on everything social media, 
okay? So I don't know what that relationship was like that, because he, he says in the video, I hate to tell you guys, but there is no drama, there is no tea. And maybe that's true, okay? But I can't imagine why you would live or leave somebody. I can imagine why you would leave somebody to go work some, somewhere else that you had put in many, many years. I've had friends of mine that have been personal assistants. It is grueling, like he said. I can understand that person wanting to go on and, you know, work for somebody else or starting their own business. I completely get, I can see that. I can get that, right? But why would you unfollow this person that you had such a fantastic relationship and there was literally no bitterness whatsoever? Especially somebody that could help you as much as Jeffree Star could because you've been working with him for five and a half years. And Jeffree Star, whether we like it or not, knows a lot of people in the, like, networking community. I mean, there's a lot of people he could connect her with to help her business, right? So why would she walk away from that and unfollow him on social media? That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if I was going to start a business in Hollywood, in L.A., that was going to have anything to do with working with celebrities, as much as there's a lot of people out there that don't like Jeffree Star, I might want to keep my experience of working with him in my pocket a little bit, you know? So do I believe that this is just, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion of a public figure, do I think that this is just where an assistant just said I'm done working and walked away? No, I don't. I think there's evidence to the contrary. And I think the stands and the fans don't want to believe that. I have no idea about the cameraman whatsoever. Okay, Christian. But I do think it's interesting. And he said that he wanted to go visit his family in London and whatever. I, I think that Jeffrey received such backlash. And I think this is the thing that if you don't follow drama, you don't know. Jeffrey received such backlash over Maddie leaving and people caught on to it and Jeffrey did not address it when he put her in the Shane series, okay? Just like he's not coming out and addressing the Hair by Jay thing. He comes in a video and he talks about how he has to be so honest with his audience. If Jeffree Star was honest and all, and this is where it just like grinds my gears that people want to get in the comment section and talk about how authentic he is and how honest he is. No, at not whatsoever. He would have got in a video and he would have said, and by the way, I need to talk about this Hair by Jay thing. He won't do that. He only addresses the things that he knows that, like, I mean, you guys, it's, it's all smoke and mirrors, okay? He puts out there what he wants you to see and what he wants you to talk about. He doesn't address the things that people really care about, right? So yet again, okay, here we are on what is today. Uh, today is uh, the, the Friday, uh, March, what is it, 12th? Okay, we, all, we have another time and date, okay, of where Jeffree Star was offered an opportunity for change and did not take it. He could have gotten a video and he could have talked about the Hair by Jay incident and he has chosen not to. Now, he can't come in out in a video two weeks from now and say, well, you guys, I didn't talk about the Hair by Jay thing. I probably should, okay? And this is where Je Jeffrey would say, this is where people truly, truly, unless you have talked to the man, do not know what Jeffree Star is like behind the scenes, Okay. Jeffree Star would sit there and say, I already addressed it. Why should I address it? Well, because the way that you addressed it was lying. You said, okay, that you hold people accountable and good, good morning to everybody except for the guy that used to do my hair. Now, who are you talking about? Are you talking about somebody that did your hair 10 years ago? Or are you talking about, are you le leading people to believe hair by Jay? And I know that people think that this is not that big of a deal, but this is why it is, okay? The hair by Jay thing alone is not that huge of a deal except for the fact that that was the impetus which caused Trisha Paytas and Shane Dawson to not be friends anymore. Jeffree Star, this person who his fans say is honest and caring and loves his friends and family, loves somebody so much, Shane Dawson, that he calls like family, okay, that he has not come out and addressed this hair by Jay thing at all. In fact, what he put, put out on the public, you know, arena was completely the opposite of what he did, right? Well, here's the deal. When you add all these little things up that Jeffree Star has done over the course of the five years that we have both, he and I, been on YouTube, it doesn't look good. But people forget the last one because here's a new one. Here's a new one. So, for example, let me read you some of these comments that Jeffree Star got on his video, okay? Um, do, 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 I screenshot a lot of these comments. Okay. Uh, so he said, hi, every, hey everyone, how are you? Today it's time to say goodbye. There has been some major changes in my life recently. Thank you for watching and being patient. Love you guys so much. Okay, someone said, people forget he's human and not really our alien. And someone said, an SHI took human, but yeah. And then somebody else said, I bet y'all that some news channels will report Jeffree Star Fires assistant and, assistant and Cameraman. Thank you for referring to me as a news channel. <laughs> oh 
my God, I love that so much. Okay, uh, then someone said, if there's not the phrase, the last couple of days, weeks, months, years have been crazy a lot, then it's not a Jeffrey video. And someone said, and the deep breathing before saying it. Okay, well, even though you guys are joking and you're fans of Jeffrey, what that indicates is a completely contrived video where we know what he's going to say before he even says it. The, this year has been so crazy already. Okay. I, <laughs> and people buy into it. Uh, someone said, literally, Jeffrey is the only business owner I know that is completely transparent about transitions occurring in their industry. <laughs> They're always so worried about looking weak and unstable, but all people really want is honesty. And I guess that you found it in Jeffree Star, didn't you? You found all the honesty you had ever looked for. God, give me a break. Um, someone said, sadly, there is no tea. This is how we should end professional and personal relationships, just the healthy way, without tea. Well, quite frankly, the reason there's no tea is because those people sign serious, serious NDAs. Jeffree Star himself talks about he can't trust anybody in Hollywood, right? What I don't understand is, what are you doing behind the scenes that, I, I've always wondered this, and this has been a conversation I've had with several people, what are you doing or saying behind the scenes that requires such ironclad NDAs with people that you are so afraid of anything that you are doing getting out, okay? Like in a professional setting. Like I, I have to believe that like a lot of people in Hollywood have NDAs, okay? And I can understand a personal assistant and I can understand a cameraman having NDAs. But there's always this conversation of I can't trust anybody. Well, it doesn't really matter because whoever ever comes out and says, Jeffree Star said this, you just say they're a liar anyway. And you just say that they were never a friend of yours to begin with. So it really doesn't matter if they sign an NDA or not because you never fess up and take any accountability for what those people did. So what does it matter? It doesn't matter. Because you live up in Hogwarts with your magic wand and you recreate fantasies of the world. There, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what anybody says, you know? Um, somebody else said, and, and this is the thing, as far as this is the way that you end healthy professional relationships, I absolutely agree with that, okay? Maddie left six weeks ago. He's made videos since then. If that was such a pressing issue, why didn't he make a video six weeks ago when she left or two months ago? That's an old story, y'all, okay? And the reason he's coming out and presenting it this way is because we're never going to hear Maddie's side of the story. We're never going to hear Christian's side of the story because they do have ironclad NDAs. You ever thought of that? I mean, is Maddie coming out and making a video? No, she can't. She legally probably cannot. I can't imagine a personal assistant not having an NDA, okay? So she literally cannot come out and talk about anything to do with Jeffree Star. But she could be sitting over there and being like, yeah, he's the nicest guy in the entire world. He's been fantastic for, to work for. I love him, but I'm just going to unfollow him on social media. Or she could be over there sitting there thinking, I have to sit here and bite my tongue, but he is the biggest, nastiest person in the entire world. Uh, and we will never know that, you know, either way. So... Someone said, this is the most real Jeffrey we've ever seen. And honestly, I want to see more videos of this Jeffrey. This is where people, like, you buy into this facade. And if you watch my video where I talked about Jeffrey before and his relatability factor, this is exactly what he does, okay? I said that he would do this. I literally predicted that he would do this in a video. How do I know that? Because I'm a psychic. No. <laughs> How do I know that? It's what he does every single time, Okay. It's, there's nothing new to it. Like, this is what Jeffree Star does. And it, it's so confusing to me that people haven't caught on to that yet. I'm like, it's literally right in front of your face and you don't see it? Like, it's very confusing to me. Um, somebody else said, the fact he took his time to appreciate one of his dearest friends and employees, even though most people would just say, okay, whatever. It shows he truly cares about Chris and Maddie. And I'm sure um, so many of his other friends, employees... Uh, and I love that. And I love how Jeffrey is so understanding. And I hope you find someone you trust too. I, I hope that's what it is. Okay. And like I say in my videos, I really hope for the best for all people. I really, really hope that genuinely Jeffrey Star loved these people. And I don't know why they, un I don't know if Christian did. I don't know why Maddie unfollowed him on social media. Allegedly, maybe she's followed him again. I don't know. Okay. I don't know why these people chose to not work with Jeffree Star anymore. Maybe it is that they just wanted to go on to next parts of their life. I find that hard to believe. Um, I find it interesting. I, I think it's interesting that not one person is questioning. Two employees leave you within a month of each other and you make a video about it? Like, what's the... I mean, Jeffree Star does not address drama. Like, and there's so many other 
personal things that are going on in his life that this is the thing that he chooses to come out and talk about, but he won't talk about hair by Jay. Like, I don't know why people don't ask these questions. Like, if you're going to love somebody, ask these questions as well. It's interesting to me, you know? So anyway, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. The Jeffree Star thing is so confusing to me, guys. It just is so, so, so confusing to me. The Just, like, the fact that fans will continue to just follow him and make, you know, they make excuses for him and allow him to just continue to not have to take accountability for anything in his life. But to Maddie and Christian, I wish you the best as well. Um, I wish you the best on other, whatever your future endeavors are. And, um, I hope that you did end things in a civil manner with Jeffrey. Cause I think anybody should be given that opportunity when they leave a job. I, I think anybody should be able to leave an, a job in a healthy way. I really, really do. And I wish that for anybody out there. Cause if you've ever left a job in a, in a way that wasn't, you know, it's not nice. And I've had a lot of friends that have gone through that. And I, I can remember when I left my job of 13 years, it was on a really positive note. I'm very thankful for that, you know? So anyway, let me know, um, what, what you guys think about all of that in the comment section below and my legs are hurting I'm like having to stretch my legs out should we talk about the Jacqueline situation or should we not okay Jacqueline Hill put out her uh her lipsticks her new lipsticks not the old lipsticks okay we're not talking about the Harry Fish sandwich lipsticks although people won't let her forget it so there's a lot of deleted comments you can tell because the first 2,000 or 3,000 comments on her video um, are all just really, really positive. Jaclyn Hill, she came out with her video tonight and her video, hold on a second, is called, oh my God, I'm into so many different things. Okay, her video is called uh, My Lip Collection Reveal. And the thing that's kind of hilarious to me about this picture and then I will go into the real moments about it. The thing that's kind of, well, the two things is, number one, the picture looks almost identical to the picture that she had before in her first release of the lipsticks. And the second thing is when I was watching the beginning of it, which was the marketing ad that she used on Instagram, when I was watching the beginning of it, I was like, oh, this is really interesting. <laughs> like... I had seen somebody on, I had seen a couple people that they were comparing it to like Lifetime movies and Hallmark movies. I was like, now y'all know I have a true crime book club. You know, I was like, this kind of reminds me of like the trailer on Netflix for like some true crime show. Is this going to be like the true crime show? Crime scene, Jacqueline Hill, the lipsticks. I was like, I don't know that I can handle all that, you know? Maybe this is where the $100,000 sick scientists that, you know, figured out the labs, I'm joking, come into play. So anyway, you guys, people are really, really happy about Jacqueline. Now, I will say it's interesting to me that she decided to go with liquid lipsticks. And I can't believe that there aren't more people talking about this, and maybe there are, and I just haven't seen it. It's interesting to me that Jacqueline decided to go with liquid lipsticks instead of conventional lipsticks, okay? Um, but I think that's probably like she can't just, she just could not handle to see one more picture. I don't blame her. And I can't stand to look at literally one more picture either, you know? So anyway, so Jacqueline Hill, she put out this uh, video about her lipsticks. It's getting a lot of positive. Oh, it's number, uh, right now it's number 13 on Trending. Um, someone said, I mean, it's gotten a few negative comments that are still up there, but they're not bad. Like someone said, didn't she already come out with lip products? Are we just pretending now? Serious question, because if we are, I guess I'll play too. Um, and then someone said, so happy for you. I'm literally in tears watching this. So empowered by this message. Um, I mean, and all these people are commenting about the dog. There was a lot of comments about that they wish the camera would have zoomed in on the swatches a little bit closer. But other than that, it's really being well received. And I think that this is going to be a great release for Jacqueline. And I'm, I'm really hopeful for her on that. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> Listen, don't be breaking out your microscope yet. I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, um, I love you guys so much. Let me know what you think about all that. Do not forget to use my code code peter at adamandeve.com and i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye